that was the Water Boys, and this standing with me, or Steve standing with me, standing on with me, you'll recognise as our wonderful continuity announcer at the top of the programme, and Steve Myatt, who everyone realises was immensely famous at the small faces. Hello, Muse. Hello. Steve, I've been reading about you loads lately, and it's always described you as being a survivor of the music yeah, business. I don't know what that means. So yeah. I've been doing swimming. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, what have you been surviving? What is this? I've been survive? swimming. Yeah, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I've been working. I mean, if that's surviving, then I've been surviving, but uh, work's work, really, isn't it? You work all over the world. I suppose because you don't play in like one little area for a length of time, you know, you haven't survived in uh, Northampton or something. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I mean? But you keep going, don't you? Yeah, you, you had an enormous success at the Small Faces, then you split up at the height of your success. Were you disappointed that Humble Pie, the band that followed, didn't do quite as well? No, no, so we, <laughs> this is another thing. It did very well in America. Didn't do that well in England, but it wasn't really geared for England. <laughs> at American management, and they didn't like us coming here much in case we got homesick and stayed at home. Yeah. Well, to get me back to the Small Faces, the most important Small Faces album was Ogden's Not To Go and Flake. Flake. And the the man himself. Yeah. This is the first time you've met him since yeah, we've done the album together. Yeah, since then. Stan, were you amazed when they came along and asked you? Well, to... I was amazed and delighted, and it was a great privilege because a bit of an old fogey in the square in a round <laughs> hole footlover, you know. I was a, it's such a compliment, you know, with Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Lane and Stevie and the others. And we had a, we had a ball that day, didn't we? Did not off, yeah, not tremendous off. fun. Were you mobbed yeah. in the streets after that as being a pop star? <laughs> <laughs> well, they gave me some marvellous ideas, you know. Of course, it took you ten years off my life, and then later on, I, I felt in my ingrowing toenails all hoddly hoddly up down the road. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a great joy, you know. And I still hear about the record too. You know? Yeah, still yeah. doing well, yeah, mate. It's quite a classic, yeah. isn't it? Now? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So the thing to do now, you've got a new band called Packet of Three, and you're mm. playing around the clubs things. <laughs> Pack it. Pack it for free. <laughs> Available for booking. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of people are you playing to now? Do they, all, do they remember the small faces? Do they shout for it to Park? Yeah, thing? some of them. You know, they don't get it, they don't shout for it. But, uh, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's not what we do, that's what they did. And do you find it unusual that there's people like Maud, Skinheads and Punks? And no, I think it's great if you can bring all those, all those together. There's mums and dads doing in in his geezers this big with air this big. There's um, mods, there's all sorts. It's a mixed bag, it's great. And, and you're also fancying uh, doing some producing as well. I mean, what are you going well, to do about that? Well, I suppose that's next, isn't it? If, uh, if anybody wants me to do it, that's the question, isn't it? I don't know if they I'm will. I'm sure they will, Stephen. Heaven's a Well, you learn so much. It's a shame if you keep it all to yourself, isn't it? Yeah. And any bands in particular you'd quite like to produce? No. No, no, no bands at all. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I'm really, I'll be honest with you. Uh, some bands come to me and, uh, and uh, I've always passed it over because I've been too busy. So now I've got time to relax a bit, I won't pass it over, but I've got nothing in sight. You know, I won't go to someone and say, can I produce you? you know? Yeah. I won't do that. Right, well, while we've got you here, we're going to use you because it's right, competition yeah. time. And last week, 